Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this video I will teach you how to create the function to minimize, maximize, restore and close the application. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like, it helps a lot to continue creating new videos. Before we start, if after the previous video your application looks like this I will teach you how to fix it. Go to Rectangle BG and add the parameter Z with a value of 1, so the BG will be on the drop shadow. When this is done we can see that everything is back to normal. In this video I will teach you how to create these functions to minimize, maximize, restore and close our application, and we will start by creating a QT object that will be where we will place our functions. Don't forget to always add an identification to your controls, in this case our buttons as shown in the video. We will start with the minimize button, we will add a function that when the button is clicked it will minimize our application. In on clicked, we added main window dot show minimized. When running we see that everything is working correctly. After that we will do the same thing for the close button, repeat the same process just by adding the close function instead of show minimized. We can run our application and we see that the button is working correctly. Repeat the same process for the maximize and restore button, but this will be a little more complicated. We will need to add a function which will change the function of the button that when we click again, it will restore the application. When we run the application we will see that the button just maximizes our application and doesn't restore, so I'll teach you how to do this function. Let's start by creating a customizable property. That will be called window status, which will initially contain the value zero. This value zero will represent that our application is in normal status. When the state is in value one will indicate that our application is maximized. Let's start by creating a function called maximize restore that will check if our window's status is equal to zero. If it is, it will maximize our application. If this value is different from zero, in this case one, it will restore our application. With the function created we will add this function to the maximize and restore button. We will add the ID of our QT object followed by the function we just created. Note that when running our application the button is still not working. This is because we need to say that when our button is clicked it will change the window status to the value 1, and when it is restored change the value to 0. See that the button is now working correctly but in our application we have a margin that we should fix. We will create a customizable property which will be the value of the margin of our application, 
When our application is maximized this value will go to 0 and and when our application has been restored this value will go to 10. After creating this new property add it to the margins of the BG rectangle. When running the application we can see that everything worked correctly. We can now add this property to our maximize and restore function. If our window status is equal to zero, we will add the value of zero to the margin, otherwise we will add the value of 10. See that when maximizing the window margins disappear, when restoring margins reappear including the drop shadow. But see that by dragging our title bar the application is restored, but the shadow disappears, this is because the status is not updated. We will create a new function so that when the window is dragged it will show the projected shadow and restore the margins to the value 10. Create function as shown in the video by setting window status to 0 and window margin to 10. This function we will add to our title bar inside the drag handler control. Note that when running the application it is still not working, this is because I made an error putting window status is equal to 0 and not to the value 1. When changing this value the application will work correctly. Note that this problem also happens when we maximize the window, and then minimize it. When we bring the window forward it will be without the drop shadow, in this case without the margins. We are going to create a function just like we did for our title bar function. I will create a function called restore margin and add it to our minimize button. To execute multiple functions when the button is clicked, just open and close keys and add our function separated by lines. See that now repeating the process is working correctly. However we need to change the window status to the value 0. so that when the maximize button is clicked it works on the first click. We are almost done with the process of creating these buttons, but let's change some left menu functions first. I will change its width when expanded to 250, and its animation curve to an out quint. Set the width to 250. Change the animation curve if you want and change the animation time to 500 milliseconds. The last step of this video is to change the icon for our maximize and restore button. When we maximize our window, we will change the icon as well as when we restore. When we click on the Maximize button the Restore Icon.SVG icon will appear.
otherwise the default icon will be displayed. Add the default icon for all the other functions we created below. We finished this video. In the next video, I will teach you how to create the function to change the dimensions of our application as it works using the standard title bar. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.